as we go into 2024, there's a set of own challenges. So each of us need to be resilient and be on top of the game. Throughout this program, we learn so much about the needs of our community, AAPI community. I just want to really appreciate each of you because it is so much needed in our community right now. But in order for you to improve the impact that you have, not only focus on the quality of the service you provide, but also how can you show up at your best self, right? At your best self, because at the bottom line, you are the person that will interact with deliver the service. Our conscious brain can only process about 40 to 50 bits of information out of 11 million bits. So actually, each of us experience the world through a lens. You want it or not, you can only process that 40, 50 bits. How can you select those 40, 50 bits to the best so that you can have joy even in a really tough day and everything? That lens will determine your state of being. That lens will decide how you can react to things along the way, right? And I want to introduce you a lens. It's called the lens of grace. So grace is a very simple acronym of five values. The G stands for gratitude. The R stands for respect. The A stands for accountability. C stands for courage. And last is E stands for engagement. Now these are common sense values, right? Everybody knows about this. But knowing about this, and practice it and be it, that makes all the difference. And the lens of grace, it will enable and activate the power from within your heart. And that is where all the difference was made. Last Sunday, I finished my fifth half marathon. How many of you running from half marathon? And you know, when I'm going to my 40s, if somebody tells that Emlan, you're going to do a half marathon, I would laugh at them. Then my knees were the problem. We're in my 40s, now I'm 60s. I could not imagine I could do that until some mentor pushed me out of comfort zone and said, Enlan, you can do it. I'll give you eight months, do training, whatever you do. And the first half marathon, <laughs> let me tell you, I finished it in three hours, 59 minutes, and 58 seconds. So I had like two seconds, otherwise I could be disqualified. They give you four hours to compete. I couldn't run. So I, I walk fast, that's all, right? And five years fast forward, and thanks to COVID, I, I become more fit, right? And let me tell you, when I finished that, that uh, finish line, you know, this past weekend, I look back, my body was totally transformed. My health was totally transformed. And it all started because I practice grace. I truly take accountability. I appreciate myself, so I put, I prioritize self-care and self-love, and all of that. So living in grace it truly, really enhances and helping you. Each of you, you have a responsibility to take good care of yourself. Because it starts with you, each of you in this room. How can we really take care of this so that you can become what I call living in grace spirit? Thank you, Beverly. Thank you, Virgin, and the whole organizer. But this is just the beginning, don't you agree? This is just the beginning. And I heard the talk from John Wu, and he mentioned about the stigma of mental health. How can we change that narrative? And we need to do that not just for our community. We need to do that for parents, for teachers, for school administrators. You guys will be the light. That light not coming from our side that light coming from your own beautiful heart. So be that light, be that beacon of light for everybody that you serve. And I wish you the best. Thank you.